Welcome back, fellow Illumineers, to Be Our Guest. Are you struggling to find product or just can't afford the prices right now? You're not alone, and we're here to help. This is the second episode in a series we're dedicating to this very timely struggle. Spoiler alert, this is one of the greatest matches of Lorcana I have ever played in. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and if you dig what we're doing, please throw us a like. If you haven't watched week one, We'll include the link in the description down below, but suffice to say you're looking at the deck list that we ended the week on. For a quick summary, we're participating in a league, and as part of that league, our LGS, shout out to Infinity Cards and Collectibles in Aldergrove, BC, is allowing us to buy two packs per week at MSRP. So that had me thinking, what if I only use those two packs to improve my deck each week? How competitive could I be? My hope is, through this series, I'll show you that you can in fact be competitive even amongst those that have access to way more cards. It's going to take some practice and work on your part, so pay attention, ask questions in the comments, and let's do it! One last note, we're hoping to be able to record live from the League in the coming weeks, but for now, the format of the episode will be going over the deck, what we opened in our packs, what changes we're making, and then we'll play a three-game match against Patrick and his much more established deck. So, if you'd like to join us on this journey and find out what matters more, the players or the cards, please be our guest. Let's see what goodies we got this week. All right, brief recap of where our deck ended up after week two. You can see it before you here, but just to kind of highlight some of the cards that are at the top of our hit list for getting out of the deck. We've got Stampede there. Uh, we've got Stolen Scimitars near the top of the list, definitely Rapunzel, she was the main one we cut last week. Those are probably the, the three at the top of the list. Then kind of the tier below that that we're hoping to start dipping into would be probably Megara, uh, let's see, Gaston and Fan the Flames don't necessarily have a ton of synergy, but they could probably survive. Uh, Scar for sure. Yeah, I think that probably is the ones, maybe Aladdin Street Rat, until or if we get more Heroic Outlaw. You'll see I got a lovely Nicholas Cole signature on my Heroic Outlaw since our last video. Um, so yeah, I think that's where we want to start out with. So let's crack into the two packs we got. All right, so with our two packs, we're going to start by separating it into what we can and can't play, obviously. So can't play Hakuna Matata, Aurora. I'm going to separate the colors we can play for now, but obviously I'm sure you know Tangled isn't making it into the deck. <laughs> uh, we got Flynn Rider, which was an excellent pull. Sadly, we got some excellent cards that we can't play in our colors, and best believe Patrick was happy about that. In our second pack here, can't play Fire of the Cannons, we got Goofy, which was awesome. Can't play those. We got another Duke of Wesselton, which is fine. Another Fan of Flames, which is questionable. Um, and we got uh, Genie on the job, which was awesome. So quite a few cards, unfortunately, that we couldn't play out of these packs, but definitely some solid cards that we can. So from there, again, let's separate into the cards that we actually want to play. Absolutely Genie on the job. Probably Fan the Flames. Duke of Wesselton, more than happy with. Goofy, definitely. Flynn, definitely. Genie, ever impressive, I think is a fine enough body at 2-3, and Tangled, absolutely not. So Tangled's going away, and we'll probably make room for Fan the Flames. Much like last time, we talked about this, when you're deciding what cards to put in, don't just grab the ones that you absolutely want in your final product deck. You've got to think about how am I building this as I go. And the fact of the matter is that Fan the Flames, although it isn't a card that I probably want in my final deck, it's still a card that's better than some of the cards that I've currently got in the deck. So that's where we want to start with. So, uh, Genie obviously making it in. So we have five here that we need to, to cut space for. So Rapunzel, much like last time, I think is the easy cut. Her The fact that she's uninkable um, and a, a pretty small body for her cost, I think makes her an easy cut. So that's going away. Genie, the ever impressed, I'm going to put over here with Donald Duck since they're one and the same. Uh, what else are we cutting? I think we already established that Stampede needs to go. Although I like having removal, it's bad removal, and it is again uninkable, and I want my deck to be as consistent as possible. Um, so we're gonna get rid of those two. All right, so let's move over from the flames. We got Flynn Rider there. Goofy's coming in with our five drops. 
Um, now we got a debate between Stolen Scimitar and Scar, and they're both inkable, so I think given that, let's get rid of the thing that is not a character. Again, I mentioned this last week, but for those of you that are uh, new to the series, um, as you're building your deck kind of on a budget, err on the side of characters over items, over action cards. Not exclusively, like obviously Dragonfire is an amazing card and you should always be including that, but a situation like that where it's Stolen Scimitar versus Scar, I don't really like either of them, but Scar at least can quest for lore, can challenge, right? Whereas Stolen Scimitar, we're just kind of hoping does something good. Uh, Fan the Flames, all right. So is Fan the Flames better than some of the other cards we've gotten here? What was left on our hit list was Megara, was Aladdin, was Scar. Uh, those were probably at the top. Um, we did just get rid of some uh, non-characters, so maybe we could slot this in. I do like Fan the Flames in the short term uh, with my high lore producers like Mad Hatter so that I can protect them. Um, there's not too many situations other than with Aladdin where I might want to use it aggressively against an opponent's bodyguard or something. But I think still think it's probably better than Scar. This one's debatable. This one I think you could easily go either way. I think I'm going to swap out Scar because I'm not a huge fan of his for Fan the Flames, but again, I feel like that's pretty, you know, 50-50. You could go either way. I'm just going to choose to go with Fan the Flames. All right. So there's our deck as it looks uh, to start week two. Uh, I can tell you that we only had one defeat in week two with this deck. It was against a player that had bought four boxes and had uh, two <laughs> fully constructed decks. Um, and I can also tell you that we almost won that game, except for the fact that I was a little distracted by a bunch of people messaging me. So that one, that one hurt because I don't think it was uh, exclusively uh, down to uh, the deck. I think it was also down to mis some mistakes I made being distracted. All right, so with that in mind, let's get to the gameplay. We're going to match up against uh, Patrick's deck here and see how we do. See you next week. Da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, I don't trust you. You're yeah. cheating so-and-so. I don't trust you either. <laughs> but I hate it when people only, like, cut, like, the top four cards. That just annoys You're me. welcome. Uh, what's this? I'll re-sleeve it. I don't know what they are. I will re-sleeve it later. <laughs> Talk about cheating, ladies uh, and gentlemen. No, they're not, they're not marked. Patrick here is playing with marked cards. They are not marked. I don't know what they are. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we want a one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Um, I think that's probably going to be too late to get out to care, but maybe I should hold on to it anyway. Yeah, sure. All right, so we'll mulligan two. Okay. Marked cards. Look at that nonsense. I don't know if you can tell the shading on the camera, but Patrick obviously has two colored sleeves that he's using. They're both pink. I told you not to buy another shade of pink. They're both pink. They're both pink. <laughs> uh, you're looking very ghetto there, sir. I will re-sleeve the entire deck after I make my series, just like you have done with uh, Amber and uh, All right. Emerald. I'm going to ink Megara, and I'm going to put out Duke of Wesselton past the turn. Okay. Oh, excellent. Reveal an ink flounder. Yep. Develop your brain. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll ink Shield of Virtue. Put out Aladdin and we'll pass for one and pass the turn. Control for turn. Yep. Might have to ink that one, we'll see. Refill up the book? Yep. Exert two? Yep. One jump ahead? Yep. Pass turn. 
All right, we're gonna ink Horus. Put out Mickey Mouse, and we're gonna quest for two. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Yep. Reveal Beast Mirror. Yep. Sort one. Yep. Who are you firing the cannons on? I'm assuming the Duke. <laughs> you assume correctly. Um, pass turn. Okay, we will quest for two, up to five, and we will hmm. uh, Yeah, we're gonna ink stitch abomination and put out Pongo past the turn. Yep. Four. Yep. Captain Hook. Yep. Bring the fires again. Yep. One. Eleven. Ward. <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> you can edit that part out. Yes. <laughs> okay. Pongo? Yeah. Fine. T two damage on Pongo. Yeah. Pass turn. <laughs> Uh, coins. Uh, okay. Um, we'll quest for two for sure. And then what? We'll quest for one with Mickey Mouse? Question mark. Yes. And then we will put out. Peter Pan has to turn. Okay. Drop for turn. Yep. Reveal Aurora Zinc. Yep. Taking a really long time to exert six. <laughs> Shadow Fairy. Yep. Want everything. Yep. Challenge Mickey Mouse with uh, hook. hook. It's a three on hook. Yep. Yep, that's good. Okay. Jasper, Quest, Peter Pan, and pass the turn. Go for turn. Mm hmm. Yep. Quest for one question mark. Yeah, quest for one. Okay. That's true. That's for one for sure. I think we're gonna run Latin into hook. Bounce Tinkerbell to your hand. And a quest with Jasper and same Maleficent kind of quest. Okay. Master. Turn. Reveal Grandma Yep. Tink. 
eight, ten, and seven for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And that's seven. <laughs> I was planning on doing something else. Yep. Um, and then I will run Maleficent into Jasper. Okay. Faster. Okay. Um, let me play out Jasper. Request for one. Hades. Yep. Banish Jasper. Mm hmm. Close for six. Yep. Faster. Reduce your lord. Hmm. Genie. Quest for one. And. Just the uh, same, grab your swords. Mm -hmm. Close for six. Mm -hmm. Faster. Good game. GG. All it took was uh, a <laughs> legendary, rare, super rare. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and another rare. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Alrighty. Zero. Oh, I ate my second Robin Hood. That was scary then. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only evasive dealer. Yeah, I wasn't getting much of my evasive. Was the yeah. And so to prove that these cards are not marked, like... Um, don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they're just all random. Oh, I'm just more concerned about how ghetto it looks on the camera. <laughs> it does look ghetto, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that is my bigger concern. That the aesthetics of uh, having the, the dual-colored sleeves. Uh, I'll go first. Sounds good. Didn't really help you, but I'm sure. <laughs> Had a pretty mediocre hand. Other than Bongo. 
Did you see any other good cards other than Pongo? I mean, Jasper was Jasper's okay. Jasper's okay. Yeah, he's okay, but he's definitely on the lower tier of... Okay. So, we need a one drop, two drop. Ugh, don't really like that as a three drop, so I think we'll keep four and five and hope for a better three drop. We'll look at three. Okay, well, we got a three drop, so that's all right. Okay. Oops. Well, I will. Mulligan zero. No, lovely. <laughs> I said, I said that's the right play. Is that the right play? It's most definitely the right, the wrong play. I'm pretty sure at this point. No, it's the right play. Let's mulligan zero. Let's let's be super greedy. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to mulligan or mulligan uh, ink Duke of Wesselton yeah. and pass the turn. For my turn. Yep. Ink Beast Mirror, that's okay. Yep. If you're wondering why I didn't play at one drop, it's because I wanted to get to these two. Uh, we'll ink Sergeant Tibbs and we will play Donald Dunk and pass the turn. Okay. Draw for turn? Mm hmm. Throw down the color for ink? Yep. Sort two. One jump ahead? Yep. Pass turn. Okay, we'll ink Corolla Deville, Dot Horus, and Quest for One. Yep, that's the turn. Go for turn. Mm -hmm. Ink Flounder. Yep. Keep the four exerted Hans. Yep, that's the turn. Okay. Um, we will ink Peter Pan, we'll play out Pongo, and we'll Quest for One with Horus. That's the turn. Go for turn. Yep. Reveal of Aura. Yep. Maleficent. Yep. Quest for Hans dealing one damage to Pongo. Yes. Yep. That's turn. Okay. Um. All right. We will. First of all, let's run horse into Hans. Then we're gonna quest for three. And then we are going to ink Mad Hatter to put up Goofy and pass the turn. Okay, control for turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Here's what I 
I think we do. I'm gonna use Pongo to sing Mother Knows Best, and we're gonna return Hans to your hand. I'm gonna play Dragonfire on Maleficent, and we're gonna quest for six. Pasta. The idea here is to protect Mad Hatter. <laughs> I mean, everything else as well, but since Mad Hatter is vulnerable where Goofy and Pongo are not. Goofy will her? Yep. Don't think I have enough. That bounce may have done it. Grab your sword won't do it. I don't think I have enough. Hades won't do it. Grab your sword won't do it. Tinkerbell won't do it. I can get rid of three. I don't think I can get rid of five. Pongo has one damage on them, right? Yes, correct. So that's the only thing that has damage, right? Correct. So grab your sword, we'll get rid of Pongo, and nothing else. You'd be able to get rid of Donald with Mickey yeah, Mouse. still five. Yep, which I can already do. Fine, just to <laughs> show you, I'll let it go on Mad Hatter. There you go. And then with three... I cannot do anything else. GG. All right, game three. Yeah. All right, squad. We might uh, we might not uh, win the match, but we won a game against a deck that is vastly superior. And if that doesn't show you what can be possible, I don't know what will. Not Let's see if we can win the match. Vastly superior. You have multiple Hans, multiple Tinkerbell. Bell, I don't Hades. have fire. I took out fire the cannons. I took out smash. I have no direct damage. <laughs> oh no, I do have some. Don't, don't start complaining that I your deck isn't some. nearly <laughs> more I overpowered. Have, I do have some. <laughs> yeah, if you join your evasive package, it's uh, it's pretty much game over, to be honest. Nah. All you need is Baby Tink into Giant Tink I don't and have, grab your sword. I don't have Baby Tink. You're looking at her. One Baby Tink does not a deck make. Baby Tink is like the, the one... The fact that you are the at all complaining common, about... The one common that I can't seem to pull. I have Horus in my deck, Patrick. I have Scar in my deck. Okay, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Do not complain to me about your deck. Okay, okay, that's fair. This is still not a finished deck, though. That's the problem. Of course not. But it's a lot more finished than this one is. It is. But it's not synergized, is what I'm trying to say. Because I don't because I'm trying to do two things at this deck right now. Yes, yeah, which you shouldn't be. Yes. I'm trying to control and I'm trying to go wide, which I cannot right now. Yeah. So Alright. Would you like to go first for game three then? Absolutely. The rubber match? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll take that extra what? What 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 was it? Like two percent chance to win by going first? There you go. Maybe they be Four. Let's see, it was four of them, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, they'd be very poor. Yeah, they were pretty poor. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. Do we need to keep that against what he's playing? I haven't really seen anything that's got specifically that willpower that I'm overly concerned about. Um... Yeah, and let's keep at least a couple things for ink. Let's keep that and I will that. One. I'm going to mulligan three. Okay, that's better. That's what I want here. So then we're going to go two, three. Well, maybe two, three. And yeah. We need something in the gap there, but otherwise. All right. Good luck, sir. Same to you. Same to you. Yep. You got the hook? Yep. That's turn. Okay, and I'm gonna ink Prince Ali and pass the turn. Okay. Show for turn? Yep. I think we might go with that on two now instead. That's not great, but okay. Which threes do I like the least? I guess this one can go. 
for drill smash. Yep. Watch your mud. Yep. Fast turn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna no. say. <laughs> Wait, now, now I pass turn. I uh, skill the virtue. Bell and duck pass the turn. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's true. Okay, Megara. Maleficent Frank. Yep. Last turn. Okay. It's Ali. Mouse. Quest for one. Last turn. Go for turn. Yep. Yep. Quest with uh, Hans, dealing with damage to Peter Pan. Yep. Last turn. Okay. Duke of Weselton. We're going to run Mickey Mouse into Hans. Quest for one. And we're going to put down Pan Heather. Quest for one more. That's true. Draw for turn. Yep. <coughs> Revolt Beast. Yep. I've got so many items. Right. Big tank. Yep. Jasper. One rider. Quest for three. Man the flames. Last turn. Control for him. Mm -hmm. A few most to sing one jump ahead. Second big tick. <laughs> Last turn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Corella. Aladdin. And. Uh, Last turn. Good. I don't really want to benefit you with this card. So I won't. Aurora? Yep. Doesn't matter who I give it to. Mm -hmm. Fives, eh? Mm -hmm. Banish skill two? Yes. Five. 
Let's try. And did you draw like a flounder? <laughs> or one jump ahead or something? It was pretty close to a flounder. <laughs> it was pretty close to a flounder. Yep. Okay. What are you pinging? That's the question though, isn't it? Mm hmm Can you allow them? Okay. Pass through. Okay, go up two. Go up two. Five. And I will play Megara and Sergeant Tibbs and pass the turn. <laughs> the fact that you need Heart of the Cards after playing two big tink. <laughs> two giant fairy. That is not Heart of the Cards. So I'm gonna have to do some... You have to, yeah, I have to, I'm gonna, gonna have to actually think. I'm gonna have to get creative here. Okay, so... I think the right play at the moment. Yep. Run that. Yep. Deal two damage to Sergeant Tibbs. Okay. Reveal Flounder's Inc. Yep. <laughs> Flounder after all, eh? Draw your stupid seven cards. I will do the same. Oh, I don't know if that's the right play. I don't know if that's the right play at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's like the worst possible play you could make, but sure. No, it's decent for now. Unless you somehow got be prepared in there. I don't know what well, the plan is, yep. Reveal Beast Mirrors additionally from Bill. Yep. So that's at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. She is live. She is indeed. I'll run Aurora into Flynn Rider. Discard a card. Yep. I choose, right? Yep. Gosh, I wish I could choose. Okay. I'm gonna ink Gaston. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pay three. I'm gonna return Bell to your hand. Mm -hmm. And I got five. I'm gonna play two for Genie. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pay three for Aladdin. You lose Lore. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Go for turn. Yep. That's not going to do it. Discarding 
<laughs> he's in desperation mode right now. Absolutely, he is. <laughs> desperation. Absolutely, mode. he is. Look at this. He's trying to mill us out, is what it is. Except no. I've drawn less cards than him. No, that's not gonna do it. I drew very poorly on my summon. I don't think. What is this nonsense? I'm trying to draw like de direct damage. I'm trying to draw, grab your sword is what you're trying. Oh, to I'm draw. trying to grab something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Hold on. <laughs> Don't yep. your brain. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on! Put that in my hand. Does that do anything? No, not enough. I'll fire the cannons on Aladdin. Sure. I say again. Fine! Yeah! <laughs> we <Fine>. won! <laughs> Where Look at that double big tick. Get rid of that trash. None of that. And Hans. Hans no. didn't do anything because you bounced him back. <laughs> Hans didn't do anything because you bounced. Oh, okay, so I did Inca smash. That I probably uh, there's a fire the cannons down there. Where it was? How far? Okay. We did it. We did it. Look at this nonsense. Okay, Let It Go was there. Hades was there. That was a very satisfying victory, I gotta there tell you. Is. There's my grab of the sword. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. If that doesn't prove to you that you can be competitive without breaking the bank or grabbing a whole bunch of product, I don't know what does. Look at what we just beat. You uh, didn't beat much, because I didn't draw much. <laughs> Hey, every game is a new game, oh, a new chance true. for your opponent to draw well, draw poorly. You drew double big tank. If that's it's not considered two much. Damage. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, two damage. Ooh, two damage. You're right. Giant Fairy is a terrible card. You should remove it from your deck. Absolutely not. <laughs> but two damage when you're not in questing. When you're um, already at 18, I can't do it. Because I outplayed you. No, false. Your, your uh, evasive package is way too strong against Sapphire Steel. That and and what are evasives in this deck? Commons and uncommons. That's what I'm trying to tell the people. Yeah, right? absolutely. That's what I'm trying to tell the people. Absolutely. Start with Ruby Emerald. Start definitely uh, start with Ruby Emerald. And, it is uh, very yeah. competitive as a budget deck for sure. Awesome. For sure. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you everyone for watching. It's truly an honor to see you enjoying our videos. Thank you to Lorcania.com for having us as one of their featured creators, and thank you to the amazing community coming together around this incredible game. Please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see on our next video. Until next time, if you'd like to continue with us on this journey, please be our guest.